Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my item shop before you buy. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at this power armor skin, which is called the Equalizer Power Armor Paint. I do apologize if I mispronounce something because I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff, so please do correct me if I mispronounce stuff down in the comments. Alright, so the original price for this skin, according to what we see, is uh, 1,400 atoms, and uh, I'll be able to get it with a little discount. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is a unique skin. Basically, it can be applied on Excavator, Raider, T45, T51, T60, T65, Ultracite, and X01 Power Armors. What, no Hellcat? Alright, at least now, um, well, we can see what power armors it can be applied to. Alright, so let's stop wasting time and jump to the review. Well, let's begin the review, huh? And uh, <laughs> a very interesting thing. Actually, you can apply uh, the equalizer power armor paint on the uh, Hellcat p power armor when in the des product description it says you can't I mean it can be equipped with excavator Raider t45 t51 t60 t65 ultracite and x01 it does not say Hellcat so maybe I'm misunderstanding something is heck <laughs> Hellcat something else. Well, I don't have all power armors uh, available, uh, just a quite few of them, so I decided to give it a try anyway, and it worked. So, <laughs> interesting, huh? Uh, so, let's take a, a sneak peek inside, and let's uh, take a look how it looks like from first person, because just to make sure nothing blocks, because there are some power armors uh, that can block you. <laughs> basically you know so like half of the screen is blocked with some specific element uh, but this is uh, what we have actually let me step in to the light over here or is there more light it should be better and also I'll show you how the power armor looks on the display but to be honest I mean I'm not a power armor user but this thing looks dope like really really nice I mean, look at that I like it I can see doing a, quite a few combos with this power armor as well. With all the other pieces that I own. I mean, check this out. This is definitely a good power armor, man. Ooh. Not bad. I like it. And that's how it's going to look on the display case. And this power armor is T50 or T45, I can't remember which one I made. But still, I mean the power armor definitely looks nice. Uh, in case, in case, if you don't know how to apply paste to the power armor, as soon as you have acquired uh, the power armor, right? Let me collect this thing. Uh, you will need to pick up any of the power armors that it's available. Like, if, for example, my excavator, right? You need your uh, power armor workstation. Oh uh, well, armor station. Uh, then you go to modify, basically. Uh, select the pins. If you have standard paint, you will need to click standard paint, and then you select from the drop menu whatever skin you want to apply. In our case, you will need to look for look for letter E, equalizer paint, and uh, apply it on all parts of the body, and basically you will have your power armor, right? Also, do have in mind, but sometimes they kind of like uh, release a skin. It could be a weapon skin, it could be an armor skin, it could be a power armor skin, and like for example, in the Atomic Shop, it's named. Uh, the equalizer paint, right? Right? Uh, but in the building menu, when you go to your, uh, like, you know, modifications, sometimes you can't find it because they would add the 
equalizer. <laughs> so you'll need to look for letter T. Uh, that happened with quite a few skins, so well not in this case, but just have that in mind for any of your future purchases. If for example you've uh, got yourself a skin, but you can't find it, try to look a little bit, scroll through all whatever you have. Uh, if not, try restarting the game. That also happened to me. So for example, I bought the product, I tried to find it, I couldn't. I restarted the game and I was able to locate it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful and uh, also looking forward to your comment on this power armor paint. So please do drop your comments down in the comment section. But when you comment, please do make sure not to swear as those comments will get triggered by YouTube. Nobody can see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got any positive or negative feedback, feel free to comment. And the only thing I ask of you is not to com is <laughs> not to comment. <laughs> Lol, not to swear, man. And yeah, so if you're open to any of the Adam Shop Fallout 76 uh, kind of like reviews before you buys, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll keep you posted on any returning and incoming items basically with the new approach that I have so if I already have a video for it then in that case and the pro and the, the item has returned then in that case I would post uh, a notification in the community tab on YouTube right with the link to the video and also mention uh, mentioning the date and how much it costs and the discounts and stuff like that also I'll, uh, um, make a post on Twitter so if you want to be notified there feel free to give me a follow on Twitter you can find my Twitter in the video description and I will also drop it in our discord at the Atom shop uh, chat so you can also get notified over there with the link to the video review of uh, the item that has returned uh, so yeah I'm just getting back to it step by step do have that in mind so uh, yeah and uh, as of Recording this video, you, uh, there's a war in Ukraine, so if you're open to any charity, I'll provide you with two links to two different funds created by the NBU, which is the national, which basically stands for uh, National Bank of Ukraine. Uh, one fund is for military, and the other one, the other fund is for humanitarian. So if you're open to do any charity, feel free to use those links, and uh, thank you for all the support. So once again, hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you did, smack that like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. By the way, good to be back. <laughs>